So now we're gonna discuss uh, what an NFT system is. NFT stands for Nutrient Film Technique. It was, de it was developed by a man by the name of Dr. Alan Cooper in the late 1960s, and it was used to grow uh, lettuce and other vegetables hydroponically. Now what it really is, is just a sloped surface, um, a sloped tray, where the nutrient solution runs through, but it runs through very shallowly. It, it's, not gonna, it's not gonna fill up, um, or it's not gonna uh, feed from the top. So it runs through in a shallow stream all the way down to the end and it recirculates. So it is indeed a recovery system. Um, so you run into the, you know, some of the same problems that you would with a recovery system, such as pH drift and things of that nature. Um, but when it comes through, the reason why it's, it's so shallow is because it's got to give enough room for the roots to have oxygen, or at least adequate oxygen. You can't submerge the roots in complete water. Um, but then, it'll, but but because it, it just comes through really shallow, it adds more oxygen. So uh, with this type of technique, it's it's very it works really good. Um, you know, you can experience really high yields at a nutrient film technique. But one of the most important things is that it's 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 less labor intensive. There's hardly any labor that you do in this. Um, it could be built very, rather easily um, through just normal supplies. But what we have here is, is one just actually pre-built by a company called uh, NutriCulture. So what they did was they just sloped the surface, they added these little divots here um, in, these, in these depressions, in these channels, to make sure that the solution just runs through and then the block will actually just sit on top and the roots will grow down into the solution. But then they'll just have plenty of, of space for, for them to have oxygen, which is really cool. Um, underneath it, obviously, you're going to have very similar aspects to other uh, types of hydroponic systems. You're going to have a reservoir, you're going to have a pump, um, tubing, and things of that nature. Uh, one of the cons to a, a, a nutrient film technique solution is that the pumps tend to go out over a short period of time, just for the fact that they're on constantly. Now with other systems, you turn, the, you turn the pump on, it fills up, it feeds, it's done. But with this one, it's just constantly running, constantly running. So that's gonna uh, reduce the life expectancy of a pump. So there's a chance that the pump could break or just, 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 just stop just because, of, uh, just because of that reason alone. Let alone other reasons too is, is that the nutrients are passing through. So salts build up and actually cause the pump to break too as well. So there's a couple different things that may happen um, during the course of, of growing with this type of system. But for the most part, it's a really good system to use and, and it provides really good results. So that's the end of this chapter for uh, pros and cons of nutrient film technique.